this poem is in memory of my partner, Robin Friesen, who died last year. Uh, he knew the horrors of war firsthand in the bloody destruction of Manila by the Japanese in the American armies in World War II. And he often spoke against war on the streets of New York and on demonstrations of daily, well over 50 years ago. Right. This, uh, this poem was uh, published first in the WRL's Vietnam Protest calendar, but the world of war hasn't changed. Of course now, in our name, they murder much more smartly. This is called Insects. Like soldiers they come, but for food, crawling the stone floor, enemies. I crush them calmly with my thumb, and at their die, you are not even no man. The biggest leap out of their skin, sporting the white squares with their blood. In the air, bombers look at men and feel as little when they press down, a brief confusion to be left behind, but the shadows burn to the stone. If you would learn how to kill, it is easiest to kill what is small. Now this is a thing. This is a lighter one for David today. Uh, I wrote it after a, a month in Europe this summer. It's called In. As I came back from seeing the Swedes, I had to look first to my email needs. I welcome home from a few friends, and then the rock that spammer sends invitations from ladies with boobs, a hot man used to using use. And as my fingers started to swell, sending a lot to spam as hell, how glad I was at last to see, uh, <coughs> sorry, how happy it was at last to see message from that best of men I think it was 110, warning there still was a world to say. A flick to see, a hero to mourn, a new, new left organization born, a protest, a party, a demonstration, a manifesto to change the nation the latest adventures in queer history, on television, an ancient mystery. And then as my eating box started to choke, something I think someone thought was a joke, in 1929, the year our hero drawing the line. Happy birthday, David. Keep them coming, at least for the next 80 years.